Hey guys, thanks for watching our build videos. Today we're talking about the results of said videos. First, as I mentioned, we built the PC, but now we're testing it. And what we're running it through right now is 3D Mark Vantage. It's just putting it through various tests, as you can see, testing the graphics. And currently, uh, I'm not sure how to describe this scene, but uh, we're running at 70 FPS. Uh, yeah, the graphics aren't bad on this, and we're running on 70 FPS, which is fairly impressive. We'll we'll get the uh, we'll get the final results to you later on in this video. So, I wanted to conclude with uh, my thoughts on the PC build. And, you know, uh, as, as it was my first time, it was really new to me, obviously. It was very interesting. That being said, I probably won't be building anything I probably will not be building anything new anytime soon. This PC was built to last me for a long time and to be able to be upgraded when needed. Speaking of upgrades, right now we have uh, a 750 Ti graphics card in there. Now let me list off a couple of upgrades that I plan to do in the future. <clears throat> so my first plan is to upgrade to a new graphics card, which at the current point in time, I believe it'll be a GTX 980. Now, this will be a huge step up in performance from what we're seeing here and we're still running pr at pretty good speeds we're at, at 56 FPS right now and this is a pretty awesome video mind you um, now it's down to 16 but never mind that <laughs> I'll, like I said, I'll give you the uh, exact results later. So I'm thinking in terms of upgrades, I'm going to upgrade to a 980, GTX 980. And this will be a huge boost in performance. That one scene that you just saw, that will not run at 16 frames per second on a normal, or not a normal, uh, high-end 980. So while the performance graphics wise may not be perfect, this PC is built to last and is built to perform well. So in terms of that upgradability, let's continue. I will also end up adding more RAM to it. Currently we have 8 gigabytes of RAM in there. Um, I'll probably add more RAM to it sooner rather than later, most likely, along with an SSD. I already have an SSD in there. However, with certain products uh, that I have on there, it's taking up a lot of space, uh, like Fallout 4, which I recently got and will start playing soon. Uh, while it doesn't take up huge, huge amounts of space, it still takes up, up a decent amount of space, and that is only a 250 gigabyte SSD. Now, I do have a terabyte dry, uh, hard drive on there, but it's not optimal in terms of speed. So, immediate future, we're looking at some more RAM, we're looking at some more SSD storage, uh, further in the future, but still a more immediate 
upgrade, something that I'm planning for in, in a year or more, we're looking at a GTX 980. With that, um, we're probably going to also look into an extra monitor or two. Uh, this monitor, I can't remember the product number, but it's from AOC. It's pretty decent. I'll get you that product number later as I plan on doing a video on my setup. But um, I do know that this monitor is a 1080p monitor. Um, get another one or two which will definitely increase um, it will definitely increase my uh, productiveness in terms of just being able to move from one monitor to another uh, instead of having to click back and forth from different windows so that's something that I would definitely look into sooner rather than later uh, it may come around the same point in time where the new graphics card comes but uh, I mean it's not it's not an upgrade to the actual desktop so with that being said that's really all that I have for future upgrades now we do have our scores here. And my score, and, and I'll give you reference soon, uh, my score is 20,228. Now, uh, it's reference details here. We have an office PC at uh, 2,929 and uh, at the top we have a 4k gaming PC which is at 51,563 so you're looking I'd say in, in just about in the middle of all of this uh, it's not quite up there but it's it's still very good um, especially on, while not a budget PC, it's a mid-range PC, a uh, PC build, it's still fairly good. And with those upgrades mentioned, this will score much higher. Um, so I'm going to take a look here to see if there's anything more. No. So, you saw how the graphics run, ran in those benchmarks. However, now what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of gaming. So, stay tuned for a little bit longer and we'll start some games like Fallout 4. See how the PC handles that. Hey guys, and now we're back. Um, you heard me introduce this part already. We're going to start playing some games just to see how the performance is. So, let's see. Uh, we've got all of my games loaded up on uh, my SSD. So, let's, let's pull up Fallout 4. And see, that pulled up pretty quickly. So, that's a good sign. Now obviously starting is different than starting the game is different than actually playing the game. So the SSD obviously works very well. Uh, however, we need to know how the graphics card actually performs in real life. Because really those scores that I mentioned mean nothing uh, if it doesn't actually perform well playing games. Now, I've already set this game up to the highest settings possible. And obviously you're not going to get a good look uh, with my camera here. Unfortunately, I do not have uh, my game capture as of now. 
we will uh, later to do s some gaming, but uh, right now James has it. Uh, so you won't be seeing exactly how it looks, but the main idea right now is to just get a general idea of how the game runs, which is really all this video is about. So press any button to start. Let's go. Uh, new. And I'm going to turn the volume up a bit here. Again, I do apologize for not having the game capture. It would be all optimal to have that, uh, because you guys could see. But, again, we're just going to see how it performs. So, it just opens up with an intro scene here. If you guys haven't played this War. game, it's quite awesome. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. son because of my time in the army taught me one thing it's the war war never changes I do like that intro guys very interesting intro uh, very powerful. Um, now, on to the actual oh, performance. Jesus. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hon. You think? On to the actual performance. We need to discuss how that intro went. Obviously, um, well, I don't know if it was obvious to you. However, the, uh, the unfortunate fact is that that intro stuttered here and there. I don't know if you noticed it or could see it. Uh, again, we're not able to capture this uh, properly without my game capture, uh, which is in James's possession. Um, however, you can see that uh, this is uh, this is running pretty well. Uh, I'm not even going to mess with. Uh, how my character looks so we're just gonna test out how the game runs for a couple minutes here thanks Godward.
Now, just standing still here for a second, everything is moving pretty well, so I'd say that's a good first success. All right, thank you, Codsworth. Really good, Michelle. We should take Codsworth to be service soon, don't you think? Well, I know there's, um, I'm just waiting for Mr. Volt Tech over here, and I see him through the window. You can't really see him, but he's there. Um, Kind of just waiting for him. Yep, he's at he's at the front door, so I'm gonna go. Can you get that? It's probably. Good morning, Voltec calling. I just jumped. I did not mean to do that. Okay. Voltec, why we're about you, sir. Volt. Right. You can't begin to know how. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language. As if that were language. So, I know you're a busy th this runs pretty decently. Um. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for... I'm just going to skip all the talking. Sure, let's do it. I've seen this Splendid. intro already. Uh, or, Splendid. it's not really an intro. But I've already seen this, so... And... Since we really don't care, um... We're going to just put everything into strength and intelligence because I'm strong and smart obviously again these are not the real settings that I would do it's just a quick setup that's everything uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault congratulations on being prepared for the future um, thanks again hey it's peace of mind that's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Mr. Lincoln, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to call the loud. I think he needs some of that paternal affection. Codsworth has done really well, I will mm. say that. Get out of my way, though. Movement is pretty good. Um, the actual... The actual models aren't the best, but they're still pretty good. Spin the mobile.
And yes, I am just running for my life. Uh, I'm leaving my spouse and my baby behind because, yeah. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay. Thank you, sir. Coming through. What's going to happen to all those people outside the gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. I'm following you, soldier. You're slow. I jump. I'm, but I'm not in the center. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you, both of you. We love you too. Hold on. Okay, guys, so uh, that whole introduction scene, I'm just going to quit right there. That whole introduction scene worked quite well, I will say. Um, so let's try something different, something a little more, well... Since since Jeremy uh, added some mods here and there, it's no longer simple, but um, let's play Minecraft. See how that works. It should work just fine, but um, we added some mods, uh, and now it is no longer a 16 by 16. It's a 512 by 512. So, that being said, let's see how well this runs on this graphics card. See, uh, just generally how it performs. Obviously, Fallout 4 performed fairly well. Um, now, we'll see how well this modded Minecraft works. So, single player, new world, play selected world. And right off the bat, there's a little bit of um, a little bit of lag, just simply due to the chunk spawning in. Um, walking works well. Sprinting works well. Good animations for uh, breaking blocks I will say water excellent animation the horses look decent let's go let's go find some lava Not that this actually looks like a good spot. There's just sheep here. No, not really. Um, not that this looks like a good spot, but we can just uh, dig all the way down, just like this. Again, this is a 512 by 512 um, skin. And normally Minecraft is a 16 by 6, 16 by 16, I believe. So we're at bedrock. Um, that obviously is still very Minecrafty. Um, I don't know if we're going to find any lava down here. So let's just put some of our own down just to see how that looks. I, it's 
here, of course, where I didn't look for it, but so that looks pretty good in my hand. Um, the lava animation is, well, okay. So the flame animation looks pretty good too. Um, lava looks pretty good. So overall, um, the card is handling all of this very well. So I'm just going to fly up to the top and exit out. So in general, I'm going to say that this whole uh, test was a success. That's really all I have for you guys. Um, and I just wanted to say thank you for watching this video. I had an, a very enjoyable time uh, building this PC. It works extremely well and I'm excited to use this PC and eventually uh, upgrade it, but for now use it where it is as it still works plenty well. So um, I will probably make a new video uh, following this one detailing what's in my uh, in my setup which is a little more exp extensive now so um, keep an eye out for that uh, thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time on joy buzzer